Hey, it's Amanda, and I just realized I haven't done my March favorites, so I'm going to do that. But first off, I want to show you uh, my March faves in brushes is the Real Technique brushes. This is your uh, stippling brush, which I use for foundation. I use this for blush. I use this for my anything to do with eyeshadow. And this is just like a little foundation brush. I apply it around the nose, around the eyes, different areas. I love this brush set so much that I went out and purchased the other brush set from Real Techniques. This is the buffing brush, a foundation, like a little foundation, like a concealer brush, like a found, another foundation brush, but it's much smaller, so you can get kind of under the eyes better for concealing. And this is like your contouring brush. These are super, super soft. I absolutely love these. So right now I have the whole set of Real Techniques. So I'm going to do a review and let you know exactly how I feel about Everything Real Techniques. I love everything so far. Okay, speaking of beauty, let's go first with spring purses. Now, I picked this purse up. This is Jessica Simpson. Isn't it beautiful? It looks like a little bow. And the inside is absolutely gorgeous. It's an authentic, authentic. It's a Jessica Simpson. I love Jessica Simpson shoes, purses, anything. I just love Jessica Simpson. Next thing I love is this springy like scarf. I've been wearing this. Um, for a few days in March and I love it. It's just purple and tan and it's just gorgeous. It just screams spring to me. Okay, another thing that I'm going to show you is fingernail polishes. My absolute favorite stuff. Listen, ignore my hair and stuff today. I have just kind of been a crazy day. My hair looks a little cray cray. Um, my makeup isn't the way I wanted it, but I wanted to do this video and get it up. So, Okay, the first, another thing that I absolutely love is these fingernail polishes. Now, I got, um, what I have on today is this Julie, by, it's from Rite Aid, it's by the Julie, she's on YouTube, Julie G, I love her. This is her line, this is beautiful. It stays on, I've actually washed clothes and cleaned and done things with the kids today. So this really stays on and as you can see, it's gorgeous. So the name of this one, oh goodness, I don't know, you know. But anyway, it's by Julie, and you can't miss it. It's the only mint one she has. The next one is by Sally Hansen. I get this every year, and it is mint sorbet, 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 something, sorbet, something, mint sorbet. And I love it. It's beautiful. It's like two eighty eight. dollars And this one is from the new L'Oreal Spring Line, and it is called Moroccan Mac Macaroon Me Madly. I can't even say Macaroon Me Madly. I'm crazy today. It's gorgeous. It's really pretty for spring. So I've been wearing these quite a bit this um, this the last couple of weeks in March. So you can pick these all three up at Rite Aid. So I don't know about the CVS or, or anything like that, but I know you can pick them up at Rite Aid for sure. Okay, speaking of um, a few other things I've been using in blushes, I've been using the Melania blushes a lot. Uh, this is Luminoso. I love this one. And this is Dose Pink. Um, like I said, I'm country. We call it Dose Pink. It could be Dolais or do I don't know, but it's Dose Pink. Dose, <laughs> do Dose Pink or something. But anyway, I'm crazy. I'm so crazy today. But anyway, these are the two blushes I've been wearing for this month. I absolutely adore these baked blushes. They're gorgeous. Okay, speaking of Melania. Everybody knows I have the, well, everybody that watches the videos knows I have Fruit Punch by Melania. As of yesterday, now these are not, these are much favorite without even being used, okay, because I love Fruit Punch so much. The first one is Flamingo Pose. And this is one I picked up yesterday. Isn't it gorgeous for spring, summer, I don't care, and the smell is awesome. The next one I picked up, now this can be an everyday color, and this is called Pink Frost. Look how beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. And this is from the new Melania line, okay. Uh, some other ones I've been using this month is, um, in lipsticks, is Coral Reef, and then I've been, um, with Radiance, I think, Re Renovus or something, I don't know, but I've been, um, pairing these two. This is, um, I can't read, guys. My eyes are so bad, and I don't, I don't want to put glasses on in front of y'all. This is, um, it's 040, I believe. 040, and I can't read the words because it's too little. I just, I'm just, I have not got good eyesight. So I don't think I'm like stupid and can't read. I just, I don't have good eyesight. But I know for sure this one's Coral Reef and this is Radiance. I think it is or something like that. Um, but I've been pairing these two together and I've been loving them all year. Um, now if you're more of a, um, 
not really a lot of pinks and stuff. This one's a pretty, this is called, from Maybelline, it's called Lumina, um, Luminous Lilac, Lu, yeah, Luminous Lilac 715. That's bigger lettering, I can read that. It's really pretty, and it's something if you don't like a lot of pinks and a lot of vibrant colors, this is a pretty spring color. Now by NYX, these are two beautiful colors too. These are lip glosses. I think this one is Salsa. And this one is my absolute favorite. And it is Pink Rose. And I love these two. Okay, mascara for this month, of course, is CoverGirl Clump Crusher. Um, L'Oreal False Fiber Lashes. Um, Eyeshadow Summer Eye Kit by Too Faced. Love this. This is gorge. Gorge, 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 gorge. I don't know if I showed you, but this is what it looks like. So pretty, so pretty for summer, spring, all that. Uh, for contouring, I've been using Physicians Formula, How to Bronze. Love this bronzer. Okay. Um, for smelly good stuff, I've been using Victorious Incredible. I got the lotion and the mist, but I just thought I'd bring the lotion to show you all. Um, I love this. Excuse me. Ah, uh, the Incredible is incredible. Just what it says is. It's freaking incredible. Okay. The next thing is for primer. I've been using the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. Love, love, love it. Don't love it as good as the Professional, but it's the next best thing. Okay, for hairspray, this is on sale, and I just purchased it because it was on sale, but it ended up falling in love. It's the oil of Morocco, Aragon Oil. It's really good. Love it. Speaking of hairspray, not sure mother's. She's a Tease Volumizing Hairspray. Another one of my likes. And we're going on the hair thing. So I'm going to show you a thing for hair. Leave-in conditioner. And is the L'Oreal Ever, Ever Cream Nourishing Leave-in Hairspray. And it's in the, it's the gold bottle. There's different colors. But I like this one in the gold bottle better. I've tried them all. Now for um, body lotion, body washes. I have been loving the Sunivia Touch of Water Lily Hydrating. And it does, girls. When, your skin, when you get out of the shower, for me, it leaves a beautiful scent, and it gets your skin all, uh, not really oily, like greasy looking, but shiny. So I love this. And another thing for hair that I have been absolutely in love with is this L'Oreal Ever Curl. It's like a cream. It's, supposed, it's, it's a cream, but it's like a sculpt and hold cream gel. It's a gel, but it's like not a sticky gel. And it's really good. I kind of done my hair like this today. I have naturally curly hair. Most of the time you will see it straight. But all I did was I applied this and scrunched. And well, at first I applied, of course, my leave in conditioner. Applied this and then a little spray. And voila, I didn't have to do much of nothing today. It doesn't look the best, but it's something quick, easy, and fast to go with. Okay. Oh, okay. And oh, for body, I'm sorry, and shower stuff. The EOS um, Shave Cream. It's a 24 hour deep moisturizer in pomegranate raspberry. Again, I cannot see. So. Love it, love, um, you can dry, shave with that. I don't like to do it, but we, sometimes people have to, if you're in a hurry. Now, the foundation I've been loving this month, this much, this much, this month is the Revlon Color Stay Whipped. Love, love, love this. I can't give it enough praises. I really cannot give it enough praises. Now, another little blush I left out was this little NYX blush. I love this blush. It's in Rose Garden. It's a beautiful little blush. I love it. I can't believe I left it out. I've been wearing this a lot, um, this month. And, and, oh, and another thing I left out was another Maybelline. I showed you one Maybelline lipstick from, was Luminous Lilac. Now, this one is another one. Um, this isn't like a lilac-y color. This is like more of a gold, um, it's a called Coral Cream. And it's like a coral color, but it's like a, a more of a, a neutral tone. So, it's really pretty. I'm trying to show it, um, if you don't like a real vibrant coral, this is called Coral Cream, and it's 730 from Maybelline, and it's this color lid. So, um, I know there's different color lids that you can look at and tell better. So, but it's Coral Cream, and this is really pretty. I think I have it. Yeah, I have it on today, so it ain't too bright. And I put a um, NYC lip gloss over it, but this is beautiful if you don't want something too uh, flamboyant and really bright and in your face. That's a good little color. Okay, guys. Um... Also, another color is by uh, Fingernail Polish is the L'Oreal. I love this. It is called uh, Potash Potashio Dream. Something like that. It's beautiful. It was the light blue. It's from the Spring Lime. The purple. Oh, it's so gorgeous by L'Oreal. And this Revlon Baby Blue. And it is in Dreamer. Love, love, love it. So that's my March favorites. Y'all have, uh, show me your March favorites. Love to see them. Have a great week. Bye-bye.